Hello viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Civ 4 Terra Hell. And once again, Terra is screwing us, but we are going to do what we can to try to compensate. Lag compensate? Not so much. Just uh, ordinary compensation for the situation. Uh, I'm going to go to slavery here. Yes. Because that will allow me to whip things that could be useful to whip. <sighs> Such as a monument to get through this shaka crap as soon as possible. But also... Oh, well. Yeah. We'll just do that, too. And then overflow into a granary. I want to get another archer ready, just in case. Um, well, in case of barbs or any other trouble that could come my way. A little unfortunate with the barb city placement here. Um, I really want to come one west, so I'll probably have to raise it if I want to place it where I want it. And that's... that's annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, you stay put, you go scout. <laughs> that way my capital is a bit safer overall. And yeah, I got a cottage coming up there, got another worker coming out. Maybe build another archer. Lots of archers early, man, jeez. I'm really spamming out the archers. But then I'll probably want to settle her just to grab this spot. It's really the last contended spot I can pick up that uh, really will make a big difference, so I might as well grab it. And here, yes, now I can whip the monuments, and even before the granary, I'll go for the, the other stuff here. But yeah, if I get a border pop, shock is going to have to take a rather roundabout route. I think I'll order I'll just stay put. When I get open borders with Shaka, I'll scout Shaka's lands. See what kind of things I have going on here. But that should allow me to keep the sheep. Um, with a border pop, I'll get all that bonus culture for having it in my city tile. I don't think he'll be able to do anything there. It's not like this is a bad site per se, but uh, actually even better would be this because it's riverside. It still gets the deer. Yeah, it's a little bit longer to get that deer, but I can just chop it out and hold down the uh, bonus tiles. Yeah. Up here, maybe like this to pick up fur and still have some food. And if I, yeah. Yeah, okay. And then maybe like up here, but this these are such marginal cities. You know, well, you <laughs> just one seafood, and it's a four food seafood, too. And vulnerable to barb galleys. <sighs> Quite the situation on my hands. Yes, indeedy. Well, you go help with the cottage. Yeah, I was kind of hoping like four silver would just appear there or something. <laughs> some, uh, some relief. And of course, the barbs are also going to troll the copper resource for me here. Which, uh, could be worse, but could be better too. I'm going to need to capture it with something. Oh, well, and that's not a bad city per se either. Not that I have any resources to capture it. Alright, well, we're going to go aesthetics here because now I have uh, two good sources of happiness uh, decent commerce and AI already has alphabet. So, aesthetics is the way to be. Yeah, okay. I could trade for fishing. <laughs> I don't know if I want to give him those things. I'm amazed that Joao doesn't have it yet. I mean, this is this is the default save. I'm not playing on a world builder save here. He just really put off bronze working despite starting with mining for that long. Ah, yes. Let's open borders with everyone, shall we? Maybe Montezuma will send me his religion, although right now that would conflict with uh, Caesar's religion, which is a bad thing. But does Shaka have any uh, bragging about units? Watch out for our worst enemy, Lincoln. So you hate Lincoln, but you're not going to declare on Lincoln. I know you won't do it. <laughs> not unless we have a peace treaty and you roll war, I'll leave you a peace treaty. Yeah, here we go. His best unit is an archer. That's what I was looking for. It said, fear my archer if I click too fast for you guys. Um, you can pretty much check anybody that way by uh, spamming on them. Eventually they'll be like, fear my unit. See my numberless archer shall destroy you all. That means that they don't have 
a, a better resource than uh, than that yet, which doesn't surprise me for them. Man, no one has any of them in archers. Well, Joala doesn't surprise me because he doesn't have freaking bronze working, so <laughs> you wouldn't expect him to have archers. And my warrior, oh well, that's whatever. <laughs> Less maintenance. Yeah, it's okay. You can uh, you can build the settler ever so slightly more slowly, while uh, working some commerce tiles here. I won't hate on you for that. You can chill out down there. Yeah, and this is why we save these warriors and other assorted things so we can do crap like this. Go scout them out. And open border scouting is a big deal because you can really see uh, what your opponent can and can't do to you. And I think I want another worker down here. Yeah. Yeah, because actually after I get a border pop here, which is in one turn, just planting a city here seals off the northwest from uh, opposing settlers. And I'm at three cities. A fourth will be planted here. So I can get the six cities. I can get my uh, specialty. Uh, I can get my uh, national wonders. That's not the issue. All right. The issue is my limited number of quality sites, including my capital, which is decent as a city, but not a really great capital city for a bureaucracy. I'm going to use it as such, though, because I really don't have the oomph otherwise. I think I'll just camp that archer there. Oh, that's where Montezuma is. Oh, man. And, of course, I get the uh, Hinduism. Oh, of all the problems, I also get sandwiched by religion. <laughs> Come on, now. Oh. So uncool. I'm going to have to pick sides. And I'm probably going to go with the Buddhist side. Because, uh, likely, Joao and... Well, Julius Caesar is already Buddhist. Joao probably Buddhist. I would be, you know, Ragnar might even be, but uh, Shaka and Monty both have to come through this direction to attack me. And that means both of them have to contend with a protective hill city, and I can just garrison the hell out of that and uh, kill them softly and slowly, more so uh, slowly, much less in the softly department. And yeah, people don't like you, dude. But I want you to send me the religion, so you, <laughs> I will give you open borders regardless. Please don't be a settling party. You are not. Thank you. It's time to go scout out the Portuguese as well. Just, just sit tight. Just sit tight. Well, okay. I want to finish scouting out the Zulu first before I go uh, scouting out the Aztec. But it's good to know where they are. And I uh, really... This is problematic for me, because now I have to worry about culture in that city. I don't know, maybe I can pull something off here. I do have a couple archers. One more, and it'll be really hard for them to break me in the early goings. And of course, the Jaguar, the Aztecs can build Jaguars regardless of what strategic resources they have or don't have. So, I'm not going to be in a great situation there. Although, the, uh, the hills the hills are good enough. We'll survive with the hills and archers. That's why I built them. Yeah, there's my border pop. That should put immediate pressure on Shaka's most recent city there. But, still, there's a good chance that he'll get a border pop there and prevent me from just straight up flipping that. Which sucks, but what can you do? Who's bound to settle it sooner or later? Although I really might be able to just pick him off. I might, especially if I have iron. Like, and I get Choco news, and he still doesn't have longbows. Some situation like that would really just uh, ruin his day. How quickly can I get aesthetics? Eleven turns. Next turn, I'll probably turn my slider up. So I should be able to get it then. 
Yeah, I'll just use his roads to scout. Okay. Yep, hello to enemy archer here, barbarian archer. Very nice. So I think my next goal here is to start growing this city up to its cap, which is seven, and uh, building things that helps me research. I think I do want aesthetic sooner than later, though, because I can get the trades going immediately, which is uh, which is nice. But then I'll build up like the library, for example. And you, I think I want to chop out the monument in this city so I can get these tiles sooner. Okay. Yeah, I underworkered, but I wanted to get these cities out quickly because if I didn't, I wouldn't be able to get them at all. So I was willing to uh, to take a loss in that regard a little bit. In turn for the greater good. Okay. I now am up to four cities. He still doesn't have... Uh, he's going to get a border pop here. I don't care if he doesn't have a monument because he's a religion. That will give it to him. Ah, there was a settler party coming for me. <laughs> yeah, I allowed just enough time, I guess. I barely got away with one here. And now he's going to turn back. Excellent, because Joao's score leader. I don't want him getting any of this crap on me. And actually, Lisbon's pretty close. I guess he just didn't settle towards me because the land quality wasn't that good. And I'm not kidding when I say that. It really wasn't that good. Okay. Um, I think I want to transfer this corn over here and whip the granary. And then, yeah, overflow into a library. Culture troll. Lol, lol, lol. Normally I'd put a third archer here sooner, but since he doesn't have any strategic resources whatsoever, I'm less worried about that. Montezuma seems similarly small. I might be able to just noob stomp on them and get some cities. Very different from uh, what I was feeling in the last video. I was not expecting the AI to get so cramped. But uh, it's a pleasant surprise. Because this is still probably not going to be an easy game unless I can get Caesar to please, which he isn't right now. He's not plotting war yet, at least. That's something. Yeah, definitely I want a library here. Do I want another worker first? You know what? No, I want to grow this city. <laughs> but more than anything else. And wow, that archer bravely attacks some barb archers there. Oh man, he has gems, he has newbie fence. So painful. So painful. And yeah, now we're going to get into a culture war. But I have a head start on it because I got my uh, border pop first. I have, well, <laughs> I have my default tile culture here, so I'm getting a 20 culture per turn bonus over the Zulu on this tile, as they're getting 20 culture per turn bonus here now, because of the border pops. And I should be able to get to 40% sooner, too, and if I can do that before he can get a monument up in Bulawayo, I have a small chance of flipping Bulawayo, so we'll see what I can do. Unfortunately, Shanghai much as I would like for it to be a good commerce city, it's not. I'm just going to build another worker there. And yeah, so Joel has a metal, obviously. I don't think Shaka does. Oh yeah, he does. He has metal. I don't know where he's getting it. Oh, right here. He has iron. Great. Well, now he can declare on me. So, <laughs> watch, he's already plotting. Nope, not yet. Still, with that, with the limited amount of production he has, I'm not as worried about it as I might otherwise be. It's still not a good situation, but I, I can defend. I can defend. That's all we're going for right now. Yeah, let's get that discount granary going. I might as well just chop here. Well, no. First, improve my commerce situation a little bit, because that's where I'm hurting. Because I might be able to trade into ironworking and pick up a few swords and grab these barb cities, which would make a big difference.
Man, I can't tell what's his borders and what what isn't his borders. I think this is not. Yeah, okay, there we go. So I'm still in his borders now, but that's the extent of them. And it's triple gems, really? I mean, yes, my capital is marginally better than... No, it isn't. My capital's not better than Lisbon, either. He's better land and a better capital. <laughs> Screw you, game. I hate you. I hate you! Dead to me! Something like that. Some troll little comments. At least all my cities pretty much are on hills. I'm playing a little paranoid here. Forgive me for playing Montezuma, Shaka, Ragnar, and Julius Caesar with a degree of paranoia. My bad on that one. <laughs> but I, I believe in the past, my ch in my on my channel, I've advocated the not death approach, and uh, that's uh, that, that's basically the gist of why. I'm gonna get a third archer up before I build a barracks. I just want to make sure. If he goes for one of those stupid double MP double axe builds. No, I'm not canceling deals with the Americans. You and your fagwires can go to hell. <laughs> lol, lol. <laughs> no, but seriously, I want them to send me Buddhism. Me getting Buddhism would change the complexity of this game for in my favor significantly. I really can't afford not to get that, so. Is Jul I, I know Julius Caesar will plot war at plays, but I can probably get him above that. Especially if the trollmongers declare on me first. And oh my gosh, Shaka. This is just idiot crap here. Like, these cities are really not high value. Does he have any... But before he gets uh, border pomps and takes the forest, I might as well pick that up. There we go. Oh, and I have one more I can do. <sighs> Improve the commerce a little. Yeah, this city, like, these will produce a little bit because they have immortal bonuses. But aside from making Shaka more likely to declare on me, they really don't accomplish anything at all. But I guess that is an accomplishment unto itself, isn't it? Let's see here. Ah, you you would probably trade me alphabet with uh, pottery involved. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Why is my sound? I just noticed that I'm not running sound. Thought I did. No, I don't know. That's um kind of bizarre. I'll restart the game after this recording and see. Because I turned the sound up and uh, instead of hearing it faintly, I'm not hearing it at all now. Do I go literature? It's a valid question. Hang on, let me see what the tech picture looks like. Well, you're willing to trade me ironworking. I could go literature. But I'm not industrious, and I, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to bold the engineering path at this rate. So I'll grab these. <coughs> grab the sneeze, and um, hey, I do have iron. Excellent. Someone might even trade me sailing, which would be nice. Yeah, I don't know if I'm feeling the literature without marble. Let's check to make sure I don't have marble. I'm pretty sure I don't. Nope, no marble. Will someone trade me in marble? No, of course not. Okay. In that case, we're going to go ahead to the monarchy, so Joao likes us. Because, you know, there's no guarantee that he doesn't declare on me at this picture here. I am not safe from anybody. There's no one on this map right now, aside from Lincoln, probably, he wouldn't declare on me. But everyone else on this map can declare on me, and it's just it's not a good situation. But yeah, I'm going to try and pick up that iron. Let's put down another worker. I'm just going to chop out some workers. And of course, Shaka can stake it to steal my wood. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get it. Well, okay. I mean, you don't have any good tiles to work yet, but uh, yeah, just start on all your improvements because uh, I really don't have anything else for you to do yet. 
Everyone gets wet corn, and I get freaking deer sheep. It's better than getting plains cowed, marginally. Okay, good. We're still working the tiles I want to be working here. Okay, now let's see what I can trade for. Caesar doesn't have iron working. I wonder if I can get sailing for writing straight up. Probably not because this is immortal. Hey, I can. Alright, doesn't seem to improve my trade route situation whatsoever. Oh, probably because I don't have... Well, no, I should have a network with Shaka, right? No, yeah, I do, because I have a road to him. So that's why it didn't improve, because it was already... I already had a network with him. And I guess I don't have, like, an active scouted network with uh, Joao to benefit from sailing. Although I can get that easily enough, or I can just road towards him. I mean, this is, like, what, one, two, three tiles? Probably two, because he'll hook up his iron soon enough, once he gets it. Does anyone have monarchy? Look how slow the tech pace is! This is ridiculous for Immortal! It's turn 82 and people don't have iron working yet, aside from Shaka and Lincoln. <laughs> I mean, granted, Caesar went early alphabet, but this is still really slow. Like, really slow. Man, what did he do with the map script? Ah, uh, well. Let's chop that out, too. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Shaka might be plotting already. No, no, well, the thing about Shaka is, though, he can declare on you without... What do you want for this? He can declare on you without ever showing that he's plotting for more than a turn. But, uh, this should help me out, because... Axeman Impy, not going to beat the Hill Archers. It's not happening. And yeah, I really don't want to cottage these tiles because there's a good chance the, uh, the he'll flip them. Well, plus, I just don't have enough good cottage land there for it to be really viable. That's probably the bigger reason I'm not doing it, to be honest. And why would I be anything other than honest? Okay. Let's see here. Nobody has that much land. This is really troubling. Because you know somebody's going to get, like, untouched onto a new landmass, and it's just going to get crazy. I mean, other than the new world. Obviously, the new world is going to be available to everybody. And with this kind of attack rate, I might go over there. <laughs> and say, screw it. Might really be worth my time. Okay, that forest will be chopped next turn regardless of my movement there, so I might as well just move to the other forest. You get the pasture done. I, it is starting to look like I can beat the um, aztec Zulu combination, however. Because you're just not going to be able to actually build anything on these crappy cities. Um, I think yeah, I want an archer there just for some good measure. I really want to get Buddhism, but I, I'm not. And Julius Caesar is of course getting like beyond huge here. Is there anybody he? Oh, he's actually cautious with everyone but Lincoln. That's a little surprising. And that also means if he declares on someone, it's going to be Joao, and that's good because Joao is also pretty big, so they'll probably be able to hold each other off. Well, you do have a you do have metal, right? <laughs> Please. Yeah. Man. I want to say here. Do I want to go monarchy? How big could I get? Now, other than my capital, which is already size seven. I mean, yeah, I can get one, two. And these, this is a decent tile. Three, four. I can get four more tiles. I barely have the food to get there. Well, five more tiles, I guess. But other than that, what does that do for me? But what are my other options? Ah, so sad. 
And the AI is being ultra slow about getting the monarchy, too. I guess they could go currency here. That's probably what I'll do. I'll probably go currency. Um, build out some swords in the near future here to try and take, like, Tartar and the other Barb City. Get a decent amount of total cities. It's something. And then I'll trade into Monarchy because it's looking more and more like I'm going to be able to do that, so that'll be the route I take. Yep, yep, yep. Of course, better land for them than me. No shocker there now. I mean, I guess, just build a barracks, because I can train some swords from here. It's, the city's not going to be able to grow a whole lot. Or do I just go monarchy and just grow right away? And I feel like it would be a pretty big boost to my economy if I could get that going. Get those cottages up early as possible for the bureaucracy bonus. I don't know. Fine, go here and road here. <laughs> the guys who are currently building cottages slash chopping can deal with the rest. Axman, Axman, MP, MP. You are a douche, Shaka. That would be so fun, but I don't, I don't have ivory. and It would take forever. But you know he's going to come for me. It, it's like a foregone conclusion here. He's cramped on land. He won't declare on Monty, of course. So, you know, who is he going to come after? Gee, I wonder. wonder who Shaka might target. Hmm, the human player? Hmm. Unless... And that's the only way. But I'm not sure I want them to consolidate. I'm perfectly okay, I think, with, uh, with them just each splitting that land and not having a whole lot of land. But yeah, I mean, what was I going to do here? I could have come all the way down to Evora. Well, that's what it is with that glitched text anyway. <laughs> and, uh, and risked my economy there. Or, you know, I could have tried to distance settle Brog. Like, these are not good cities to settle early. And then other than that, it's the capital already. So I, I don't feel like I've misplayed big time here. I mean, maybe with my worker micro or something. But aside from that, like, this just feels like a slow map and not a lot I could have done. We still have archers here? Yeah, so, okay. But yeah, this is just smacks of the Boudicca game, and usually the Terra land quality isn't, like, god-awful like it's being in this game. And I don't know what to say to this. <sighs> Yay, swords. Oh god. Really? He's not plotting more of yours, but he's massing up units on a border. <laughs> I wonder what'll happen. I'm tempted to go masonry and just put up walls, too. Okay, so we have this side of the world pretty well scouted out. We know what they can do to us. I do have four archers here. He has, uh, what? Six offensive units. And he's cut off here, too, which is nice. I don't know how long it'll stay that way, but for the time being, it's advantageous to me. No one wants to trade masonry, of course. You know what? Let's get monarchy. I changed my mind. We're going. We're going for the prize. I already have alphabets, so I can just build research if I have too many units or whatever. Of course. But these dudes can almost never have too many units. Alright, this guy's just going to auto-explore now, because I don't really have a lot else I can do with him for the moment. Man, can't lose the sneeze. It'd be nice if the AI actually had war wariness to build this wonder, but when you build it in this game, it's often for just the denial value. 
sadly. And what I could do here is preempt a few archers, raise my power level insignificantly, but also uh, prep for the monarchy bonus. I think that's what I'm going to do. And you can just build a road so I can get over there more quickly. Yeah. I demand sheep! Derp, derp, derp. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to practice a middle finger diplomacy here. Yeah. What are you going to do? Declare on me? Screw you, buddy. Please just declare on Joal. Don't give me grief by traveling across the world. Declare on someone you're at even disposition with. That would be really sour. You are still uh, just cautious, right? Yeah. And another possibility is, uh, oh wow, Montezuma really hates Lincoln. But I think Montezuma will come after me before Lincoln because I'm closer. I mean, AI declaring on the worst enemy? No, we couldn't have that. I hope if Shaka pulls off the attack on me that he does it before... Oh, he'll... Yeah. Yeah, he's not going to have catapults anytime soon. Never mind, never mind. Carry on. Although, man, he's, his stack here is getting to be a little bit obnoxious now. Because he's got another axe there. <sighs> Scary stuff. That's why we teched archery early and worked up to them. So they don't have to try and spam archers to stay alive right at the end. Seven turns to monarchy. I won't quite get it. Well, I slide her off a little bit just in case I can actually trade for it. I doubt it, though. Oh, good. Yes, yeah, so we're not going to waste time. We're going to switch right away. Try and get J JC here to please. Because then the odds of me getting declared on by. Good old Caesar, really plummet. No way, where are you going with that axe man? Douche. Well, okay. I should probably take City Garrison with my dudes, just in case he tries to ninja me with MP. I don't think the MP would have even remotely tolerable odds, but uh, you never know. And then it's time to start building swords and taking barb cities, I think. <sighs> Okay. Let's get another cottage. Yay for happiness, though. And marginal amounts of culture. That, too. You always gotta have the marginal amounts of culture. And, ah, uh, is it really necessary for you to put units in troll spots like that? Oh, now Shaka doesn't like me either. Well, we knew this would happen, though, so it's not like. I'm going to hedge my uh, bets here a little bit and not stack two workers on one tile, just in case he declares on me and worker steals me there. I'm not really hurting for worker turns, given the situation I'm in. That way he won't be able to capture a bunch of workers at once. I don't think he's getting through this. I'm just going to go ahead and whip. Whip a Hindu monastery. Got a little bit of culture going. How far am I from a 40% border pop? Oh, I'm right on it. Excellent. Let's piss him off a little bit. And I don't even want to be improving tiles down here because you don't know what the AI will do to you. And I guess he's just exploring with the swordsman, maybe going for a barb city? I, you got me there, I have no idea. Yeah, okay. I mean, this is one of those games where the AI is not teching at a rate where you can rely on them for technology trades. Look at this, this is insane! No one has anything! This is immortal, viewers, what the hell?
Oh, there was another AI. Welcome, I guess. How did I meet you? Probably over here. He's not committed to a religion or anything. Welp. Time to run some scientists. Much uh, That's probably overdue, to be honest. But I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Kind of limited on the options. And what do I put in junk cottages? And I don't know. Because otherwise I'm just working other bad tiles. I might as well get something early on. I guess I'll slightly improve my road network. Get a couple swords. I think I'll take this city first because it's in much more danger of being captured by uh, the AI than my western city. Plus I have metal already so now I don't have to worry about that because I do with the iron. Wee Unnecessary whips. Ooh, I could build Paya here. That would really shore up the culture. And then I could just kind of camp them out. <laughs> Which is very fun. I'll have monarchy soon enough. I can afford to grow. Plus someone might be willing to trade me a luxury. No, nope. Not so much. But I have good luxuries, so whatever. This just feels so dicey. Everything about this map feels dicey. I mean, I guess this position isn't too bad, but it's just so different from what I'm used to seeing that it's hard for me to quantify how I'm doing. Oh well. As long as I'm still in the game, I will play it. So that's that. Monarchy in four. And yeah, that'll let me work all my tiles that I want to work. You just uh, spam some cottages. I don't know, I might just go over them with farms. Ah, yes, this is excellent. <laughs> this is, uh, considering this city is getting pressed by two cities, the fact that I beat him to the punch here is is a big lift for me. I might also, since I have gold, work on Paya, if I can get some tiles here. How about you, Caesar? You pleased yet? No. You plotting war yet? No. How about you, Shaka? You plotting war yet? Of course not. I don't know, like, the, the code clearly states that the AI will not uh, it's like the AI is declaring on you or not is not contingent upon your power level unless your power level is like much 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 higher than theirs like close to double in Monty's case but uh, it seems like Murphy's Law applies in Civ when you're ready for them they don't come for you as much <laughs> that's probably not an actual mechanic in the game well no and like the code divers like uh, uh, who is it Dan F5221 they confirmed for a fact that that's not how the code works but it doesn't matter <laughs> You build units because if you don't, and you do get declared upon, you die. And, uh, yeah, you build the units. Just, uh, just remember, Murphy's Law applies in Civ. And you're good. If you have the defenses, you're probably not going to get declared on. Or, <laughs> if you do, you won't die. And that's just as good for the most part. Yeah, whatever. Whip out the temple and just build research. Or no, you could contribute by building, like, swords. You know, barracks and swords. That would be nice. You too, really. Not that the swords are the best unit defensively, but, you know, they can help me on the barbs. They're not horrible defensively, though. I mean, yeah, okay, axes counter them, but you put them in a hill city and fortify... And they're still stronger than axes with a little bit of offensive bonuses. So you're not gonna 
just lose outright. Hill swords can be a pain. I'm still not seeing anything impressive here. Like, okay, he can declare on me an attack, and I have five archers sitting here waiting. I I just don't see what that's gonna do to me. So whatever. And I'm I'm taking the chain whips here because I'm gonna get monarchy in a turn, and that should help out. Shouldn't have any problems, thanks to that. Plenty of happiness there, that's for sure. And oh yeah, I do have another archer. I guess I'll just dump him in here for the monarchy bonus, because there's not a lot of good sites to settle, so to speak. Uh, one thing I do want to do, however... I do want to get a settler built and to replace the barb city I capture. Because I'm going to burn this. Should I burn this? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think this spot's a little stronger overall. I can pick up a couple extra tiles that are good and do something with it long term. So, yeah. Yeah, we're going to go that route. Maybe we'll just culture troll Shaka some more. <laughs> my empire is so lame, but my tech picture is not that bad. And okay, <laughs> I could be a true ass and go for uh, feudalism, but I think that's overkill, considering. And alright, some of Caesar cities aren't so hot, that's uh, useful as well. I'm surprised. I'm surprised he hasn't daggered me yet. <laughs> First to monarchy on a mortal, and the AI is too slow. I can actually trade it, but they don't have anything to trade me. That's painful. I mean, sooner or later, Bulawayo is going to get this border pop, and I'm not going to be able to flip it. Like, I'm certain I won't be able to flip it because it got Hinduism there. But it's still nice. Nice to be ahead on culture. Oh, all right, since we're dropping some junk cottages here. Ugh, why AI? Why must you feed the barbarians experience? Our people will never give up their beliefs. Troll all the hole. <laughs> Middle finger diplomacy. That's what Ironon calls it on the forums, and I think it's a very appropriate name. You pick a side, you get the other side to like you, and oh god, Joao picked... And he's plotting more. Great. Well, who could he be going for? Oh. Actually, he has a couple of people that he has a pretty good chance to be going for. And considering I don't border him much and I don't see units here, it probably isn't me. How about that? That's nice. A nice change of pace. I'm gonna road here just so I can go for the ninja. Ninja attack on him. And yeah, as predicted, that worked out. I'm kind of running out of things for my workers to do for a while. I guess I can start building roads towards the will be barb site. There's just not a lot. I can hook up the deer. That's something. How are we doing on happiness here? Yeah, this city. Ugh. You know what I should do? I think I'm. I'm just gonna say screw it, and burn my surplus food into um, plains cottages for the bureaucracy bonus. Yep, that'll be the route I take. Why not? So that's uh. No, 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 no. Don't be silly. You aren't going to declare war on me anyway. I'm not giving you that. That's a powerful technology to have a monopoly on. Not really. Well, the fact that I have the monopoly on it is makes it, it makes me in a powerful situation. The monopoly itself isn't that powerful, but... 
<laughs> the the advantage conferred by the fact that I only have I'm the only one with it. That's a little bit better. The city is so nasty. Does anyone want to trade masonry yet? No. Why is no one willing to trade masonry? Just don't li oh well. Okay, let's pick someone who actually likes me and see what they have to say. Monopoly reasons? Really? Jeez, man. That's kind of unreasonable. Maybe I want to take a medic archer over here so I can heal my swords. Because this guy doesn't have medic. What's the happiness situation like in the capital? If I could see my capital. Who? Oh, Shaka just built a great lighthouse. <laughs> oh yeah, my happiness situation is fine. I'll be at 10 and building a settler, so I can I can spare an archer. In fact, I'll just send this archer back. That should work. So we are going to capture a few barbed cities here, and that will put us in decent position. Decent position, not good position, because we still have a lot of hate. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this off here. I will see you guys in the next part after restarting the game. Give a like if you're enjoying the series. The Mean Team signing off.